Friends, we have some amazing news. On late 2025 and or early 2026 gaming monitors just being announced at Computex Taipei 2025 from Samsung offering and showcasing their new QD OLED gaming monitors, even unveiling a monitor that has never been heard before in the ultra wide space. So we got some breaking news today. We also have Gigabyte supporting RGB tandem with screenshots and information. Also, Gigabyte and Asus is supporting Google TV on their smart monitors. And we have more information on that new True Black glossy coating featured on a wide range of next generation Asus W OLED gaming monitors. We got a lot to cover today, guys. Let's get into it. Once you hear these monitors, you may want to start thinking it's time for an upgrade. The display industry is showcasing their technologies and amazing monitors at Computex Taipei 2025, Asia's largest IT trade show. And now for the first time ever, showcasing its cutting-edge OLED displays. Samsung Display is expanding its reach of QD OLED into the premium monitor space with a broader lineup designed to meet the diverse needs of gamers and creators. Here we have a couple of monitors being shown at the show floor. At the event, the company will unveil a new 27-inch UHD QD OLED monitor with an industry-leading 160 pixels per inch. This monitor is expected to drive further growth in its self-emissive display market. A 27-inch 5K 5120 by 2880 monitor prototype featuring the ultra-high pixel density of 220 ppi, Samsung Display's highest yet, will be also on display. Paired with the QD OLED strength, the new QD OLED for monitors is purpose-built for visual professionals, delivering enhanced clarity, precision for tasks such as image and video editing. Trust me guys, we're getting closer to the first heard, first unveiled breaking news. Also being showcased is a 27-inch QHD 2560x1440QD OLED model with a record-breaking 500Hz refresh rate, which is technically the G60SF, which that monitor just unveiled with the monitor trailer is 500Hz. But here we have it. In addition, a 34-inch ultra-wide Q Plus monitor with a 360Hz refresh rate will also be shown for the first time. This monitor is the first of its kind to be earned with the Visa Display HDR True Black 500 certification, delivering superior HDR and deep black reproduction for gamers, content creators, and premium monitor users alike. So right there, this is the first QD OLED, other than the 500Hz monitors, supporting True Black 500. Here's hoping that the 32-inch monitors next year will also support the certification. Just imagine, we're going to be able to see a new Samsung Odyssey 34-inch OLED gaming monitor that supports True Black 500 smart features. It will be premium, and like they're saying, the first of its kind. And I'm sure in the future, just like the 34-inch, the 32 and 49-inch gaming monitors will get some love and be upgraded as well. So don't worry, QD OLED will always be upgrading year on year. They get brighter, better OLED protections, and new certifications. And you know what, guys? Before we leave this page, can anyone tell me what's that? That does not look like a 45-inch monitor, nor does it look like a 32. And it looks ultra whitish. Is that a new 39-inch ultra-wide QD OLED? Or is that the 42-inch, or is that a standard 42-inch OLED monitor from Samsung via LG, or maybe even a new QD OLED? I don't know, what do you guys think? I mean, it looks like a 39-inch monitor, but it's flat. So it could be a 34-inch flat version? This is specifically a Samsung display event meaning they're showcasing their specific products. So this is not another brand's product. This is Samsung Display. So that particular monitor or TV, if anyone knows, let's put our tinfoil hats on and let's speculate. And while we're on the topic of Samsung, for 2025, Samsung is launching their first G-Sync certified TVs. Samsung has confirmed that the 2025 flagship S95F will be the first to receive the firmware update, followed by the S90F and S85F models. Now this is all breaking news. I'm sure future iterations or future models will also be G-Sync certified. It's great to see Samsung working with NVIDIA to make this all happen. If any more models become available or being certified for G-Sync compatibility, I'll bring that to you as fast as possible. Samsung Display is showcasing their new technologies in full force at Computex. But that's not all. We have more information from Gigabyte and Asus on their next generation gaming monitors. First up, we have Gigabyte announcing the MO27Q28G. And get ready for this, a 27-inch primary RGB tandem W OLED panel showcased at Computex. With 2560x1440p resolution and at 280Hz, this monitor will feature the new Gen 4 LG W OLED panel. Using the latest primary RGB tandem technology, as TFT Central is reporting, we originally thought that the 27-inch 1440p panel would offer 240Hz. 
but it has been updated to now offer 280Hz refresh rate, and the screen will meet Vista Display HDR True Black 500. That brightness uptick will be easily seen, and it will offer a peak brightness of 1500 nits. Though unfortunately, as with all the glossy monitors being announced, this monitor only has support currently for a matte AG coating. It's covering 99% of the DCI-P3 color coverage, NVIDIA JSYNC compatibility, VRR anti-flicker modes, ultra black clear frame insertion, display size adjustments with AI-based OLED care functions. More information will be released very soon. Gigabyte also has a new IPS monitor with the M27QS that features Google TV, a 2560x1440p resolution at 180Hz, featuring IPS technology, being released in July-August timeframe with a retail price of 249 It is featuring 350 nits in SDR with a standard 99% sRGB color space. It does have two 5-watt speakers integrated. ASUS has unveiled a new 34-inch QD OLED gaming monitor with also Google Smart TV options. The ROG Strix XG34 WCDM TG uses a second-gen QD OLED panel from Samsung Display with a 240Hz refresh rate and an 1800R curvature, so it's easier on the eyes versus their W OLED options of 800R. A 21 by 9 aspect ratio, 3440 by 1440, 99% of DCI IP3 color coverage, and offering 1000 nits in peak performance, certified under Display HDR 400 True Black. Here you can see a picture of the controller, and it's great that it has integrated Wi Fi 6 support. The screen is expected to be released in quarter 3 with a recommended retail price of $1,049. Also, ASUS has the ROG Strix XG27 AQD PG, a 27 inch 1440p 500Hz QD OLED panel from Samsung Display. There are many 500Hz gaming monitors being announced on the show floor, but here with ASUS, it does support True Black 500, ASUS OLED Care, and it also comes with a 3 year burn in warranty, OLED Anti Flicker 2.0 and supporting DisplayPort 1.4 and HDMI 2.1, with a recommended retail price of $899 USD being released sometime in July 2025. And another win for Team Glossy, ASUS is developing more Glossy W OLED gaming monitors, including a 540Hz model later this year. Following the recent announcement of the new 32-inch 4K Glossy W OLED gaming monitors, ASUS is planning to develop more Glossy options later this year. This will offer buyers even more choice if they are after new glossy panels based around LG's W OLED technology. The new planned monitors will feature the same true black screen coating of the 32-inch models, which offer a zero haze finish and so removes any lingering grain that the first glossy W OLED panel had. But here we have 540Hz refresh rate. Most exciting was the news that they will be developing a new 27-inch size screen based around LG's new W OLED that offers 500Hz refresh rate. Their current fastest OLED is max at 480Hz with the PG27 AQDP. So now that Samsung has surpassed that by 20Hz at 500Hz, they're looking to take the crown at 540. This new monitor will feature the new true black glossy coating, but they don't believe it will be based on the 4th gen tandem RGB panel, more likely based on the MLA Plus technology, likely to be released later in the quarter 4, or it will be on show at CES 2026. They also said they will be refreshing the XG27 AQDMG with this new and improved true black coating. As you can see stated here, this new improvement over the old coating will remove the minor haze grain it had, even though it was called a glossy panel. Technology improves, we get better visuals, better brightness, better everything. Late 2025 or early 2026 is looking to be an amazing time again to buy a new gaming monitor. First we had the introduction of OLED, then QD OLED, and now we're finally getting some meaningful upgrades from the coating to the brightness. What an awesome time again to be in the monitor market. So friends, there you have it. We have amazing monitors coming out in late 2025 and or early 2026. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more information from breaking news, reviews, previews on everything that was discussed today. You better believe they're going to be here on the channel. And hit that like button so more people can see this video so they don't have to waste their hard-earned money or they better decide it's time to save up if they're planning for an upgrade. And one thing's for sure, our wallets will not be happy. Thanks for watching friends, stay safe out there, I'll see you guys next time.